Dropify tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Dropify and how you can use it to start your own dropshipping business. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to dropify.com. And as you can see, this is their website. And over here, as you can see, you can go ahead and get started by simply clicking on this button, or you can go ahead and try it for free by clicking on the top right button corner. I'm going to go ahead and try it for free. And once I click on it, we're going to arrive on this page. And as you can see over here, we have a couple of different plans. So we have three plans in total, but the research plan, we have build plan, we have grow plan. But the research plan is free and it gives us basically most of the features that we're going to need that we're going to need to start our own business and to show you how it basically, you know, works. So I'm going to go ahead and click on get started. I'm just simply going to enter in all of the information that they are asking for and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So uh, you have to answer four quick questions so you can ensure you have an amazing experience. Now, what platform do you use? So as you can see, these are all of the platforms that they, you know, support. So you have Shopify, WooCommerce commerce big commerce or commerce hq now i'm gonna use shopify they also have others or no store yet but i'm gonna go ahead and click on shopify key a and i'm gonna go ahead and click on okay i don't even have to do it okay so how many orders per month does your store do no orders yes just a handful my store is growing i'm a drop shipping pro and stuff like that so we're gonna say no orders yet and then they're going to ask you what's your biggest challenge setting up my store finding the right product or getting more traffic not enough time and stuff like that so i think that finding product is one of the most you currently use one of these so you have umbrello deezer auto ds spocket and none of the above so if you're wondering what these are they're basically you know applications that help you find products online so i basically have used umbrello before so i'm gonna go ahead and choose umbrella i'm gonna go ahead and click on i'm done submitting my response okay now we have done it now all we have to do is check our email address for their confirmation email and once we have it we can go ahead and move on to the next part of this video you can see we have our email address over here now all we have to do is click on log into your account and then over here all we have to do is set up our new password for our account i'm gonna go ahead and click on set up my password and there we go now we're here and we can go ahead and start using dropified so first things first now that we have it, you can go ahead and add an extension to your Chrome extension. So just simply go over here, simply search for Dropify extension. And once you have done that, just come over here and just simply install this extension over here. Now, what this will allow you to do is whenever we go on to AliExpress or other shop forms that Dropify supports, we're going to have a pop up and it can easily add a products to our list as well, which I will show you in a minute. Now, over here, as you can see, we have it. This is our dashboard. Now, over here, we can go ahead and add an extension as well, but we already know what to do. So we can go ahead and add a products. This is the first thing that we need to do when we're here on Dropify. So to add products, come over here on the left side and you will see you have quite a lot of different options over here and over here underneath products you have saved products you have boards you have us products import products and alibaba products now what we can do is we can go over here into the product section and come over here into the boards and over here we'll create different boards now what are boards boards are basically categories with which you can have products so you can categorize your products like toys or games or lights or men's apparel women's apparel and stuff like that and then down below you have orders place orders tracking business profit dashboard marketing feeds and sub users and stuff like that now that we have done that we can go ahead and click on import products now over here we have full automation suppliers so we have aliexpress and we have ebay as of this right now and then we have one click support website which is used with the help of the extension so basically if we go over any of these websites we can use the extension to bring in products which is very very good now once we're done that just simply click on alibaba and we can go ahead and import our products from alibaba and over here once we arrive over here we can go ahead and activate our extension and we can see we have no product selected yet so all we have to do is just select the product but before we start importing products we need to create our shop over onto dropify over here we need to create our you know store so come over here onto the dashboard so once you're over here you can see my plan is not upgraded yet but if i did have a plan all i had to do was choose shopify and then come over here onto shopify and, and then just copy this name over here this url which is my store name dot my shopify dot com just copy that and just paste it over here into Shopify and then your store will be done and then you can go ahead and start importing products now 
let's go ahead and start importing products and as you can see we've already opened up aliexpress so let's just say that we need to find a product so first we need to find a product let's just say that we're searching for watches and once we've done that as we can see we have quite a lot of different products so let's just assume that this is the product that we want simply click on this product and what we can do now is we can click on the extension we have all of the details that we needed about this product so we have copied the images we have the name we have the prices and everything and now what we can do is we can either send it to my store over here or you can save it for later so i'm gonna go ahead and click on save for later and now we can go ahead and view it in dropified so as you can see this is the product right here so now we can go ahead and change the price of the product we can add the colors you know ship from different places we can add in our own description as well and then we can have variants as well once we have it all we have to do is just simply click on send to my store but we don't, haven't added our store yet because our plan does not allow it but that is basically it you can go ahead and choose whichever variant you want the colors and stuff like that and you can even choose the images that you want to highlight them and then you can even add it to the boards as well so i'm going to go ahead and create a new board and i'm going to call it men's watches and i'm going to click on add and there we go as you can see we have that board ready and now we can go ahead and export it to that but for now we're going to go ahead and save it for later there we go we have our product saved in our board so if i come over here and click on boards we can view this product over here in the board section so as you can see men's watches we have one product saved and we can go ahead and edit it empty it or delete it as well so as you can see importing products is very easy using dropify highly recommend using it so remember to you know create your own store beforehand and then just simply come over here and just simply input your store but right now my plan does not allow it so that's why i couldn't add it that's not a problem for me right now we're done now we can go ahead and click on dashboard and upgrade your plan by clicking on this button as well now let's go ahead and import products and try to import a product from another website so over here we can import from bay as well but for now let's go ahead and click on alibaba imports and see how it works okay so for that we also need to upgrade our plan as well to add alerts okay let's go ahead and try to import products from ebay see how it looks like so over here let's go ahead and come over here into wristwatches let's just choose this product right here now that we have this product let's go ahead and activate our chrome extension and as you can see this product is now working and now we have copied this product so the last one didn't work but this one is working i guess something was wrong with it so as you can see we have copied all of the images the prices and uh, we can even send it to our store for now and the title as well now let's go ahead and save it for later view in dropify and over here we can go ahead and change the name of product so we can go ahead and change this name from stainless steel let's go ahead and change the sports analog quartz i think this is good so this is how you basically you know change the title you can go ahead and add in different prices you can compare the prices as well then you can add in the color the and add in the description as well and then once you've done that let's go ahead and save it to this board and we can go ahead and save this for later and uh, if you had a store as i said before you can go ahead and send it to my store and over there you can start selling this product immediately but as you can see importing products using dropify is very very easy and over here as you can see we have two products saved so these are the pros of the products that we have saved and as you can see it's very very easy to use so that is basically it that is how you use dropify guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry i couldn't you know show you how you can basically add stores but as i said it's very easy just come over here into manage stores choose shopify and then come over onto your shopify store and copy the url of your store and then just paste it over here into the shopify section and then your store will be added and then you can go ahead and you can move your products from your boards to your store and you can start selling them and start earning money so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye